Okay, so hello and welcome to my production based vlog, I guess I could call this. Um, for those of you that don't know, my name's Scott, I'm a third year interactive media student at Bournemouth University and this vlog is going to be based around my grad project, which is our final year project that we're doing. <coughs> um, whilst introducing myself, I'm also going to introduce my jumper, this is my productive hoodie, so you'll be seeing a lot of that as well. Um, Okay, onto my project. My project is um, an interactive arts installation, which is where the name derives from, which is AI AI. So you could interpret that as I I A I A I, however you want to call it. But it is an interactive arts installation. That's the the working title at the moment. Um, basically, I wanted to create something with a bit of heart and feeling behind it, um, and I I thought on that premise because as with any art. Its worth is in how it makes people feel, or that that's at least what I thought. Um, and working on that premise is a feeling. At some point throughout the, the process of the user experience, I want to pose to them the question, how are you feeling today? Um, are you feeling inspirational or the need to be inspired? Because um, I wanted to focus down these feelings, and the one I came up with is inspiration, um, and that feeling of being inspired. Um, I want this to be quite a collaborative piece, so I'm working on the premise once again that the project will be getting to the point that the greatest way to inspire yourself is to inspire others, which is why I'm giving the users the opportunity to upload what they feel to be inspiring to the parallel site that um, will be created by one of my collaborators actually at the moment. Um, now lots of people said this, this sounds like a narrative project. Um, I, I didn't like that, that term narrative because I wanted what I'm doing to be more than just an interactive narrative piece. Um, I've heard a couple of things in, in lectures, actually in dissertation lectures, that have helped me really focus down as to what my project would be. Um, I keep saying M a lot, don't I? It's because I hate vlogging, I hate being on video, I hate my voice, blah blah blah. So basically, it's, it's a narrative in the sense that it's a mechanism that solves the problem of experience. Without trying to sound too arty here, what I wanted my thing to be was an experience. I didn't want it to be a, a tool, in the sense, because that's very much what interactive media, to me, is about at the moment, creating tools for people to use. So I wanted it to be an experience. And another thing I heard in dissertation lectures is an experience is something that one comes out of transformed. Um, this helped me really vocalise what my project is. It's, it's once again, the mechanism that helps solve the problem of experience and an experience that transforms someone because I didn't want to create a project that just confirms what people think or feel. I really wanted my project to challenge what people think or feel. Now to a degree this also ties in with my dissertation which explores the lack of emotion in interactive media and in that sense I'm also looking to the future of what we as interactive pr practitioners will be creating. So I'm exploring this future of interactivity by looking at how we will physically interact with media like at the moment we've just got the mouse clicking and with things like the iPad and iPhone we've got touchscreen technology but I'm looking at something which I'll show you here is called Arduino it basically comes with a little Arduino board here and using that I want to incorporate some infrared sensors which the user will physically be reaching out and controlling their progression through the project with body movement as opposed to just clicking a mouse or the, the traditional methods of progressing throughout uh, a project. Um, so yeah, there's the synopsis of what my project is. Um, keep an eye out on what other blogs I'll be doing and everything and I hope you enjoy watching the progress. Thanks very much for watching this one.